Getty so much happened on This Is Us during Tuesday night's episode, let's dig in. Fans saw Rebecca and Jack journey to California in past, and in the present. We all learned more about Zoe's complicated past. But first, the episode kicked off by showing viewers a rare close-up of Jack's necklace, or at least one of the many that look like it being made in Vietnam. Advertisement, continue reading below while many questions have yet to be answered around the necklace, like the big one, who is that woman wearing it, reflecting back on why Jack gave Kevin the necklace in the first place and digging into the symbolism behind it makes it seem like creator Dan Fugelman is trying to tap into a deeper meaning. What we learned about Jack's necklace. In season 2 if you recall, fans were given a good look at the special memento. Back in season 2, in the episode, number 1, Jack does his best to comfort a teenage Kevin, who had just sustained a career-ending knee injury, trying to help his son cope with the news that he won't play football again, Jack brings up his necklace and tells Kevin that he got it during a very hopeless time in my life, Getty, someone very special gave it back to me in Vietnam, he reveals to him, Jack went on to tell him that the wheel on his necklace is a Buddhist symbol of purpose, which he found the moment he held Kevin for the first time, tears, here's what the symbol on the pendant actually means using what Jack said to Kevin as a main clue, it's evident that the ship wheel on the necklace is the Dharma Chakra or the Dharma Wheel. Tricycle, a non-sectarian Buddhist magazine, makes it clear that Dharma is a very important term in Buddhism, and is often used to talk about the doctrines of the practice. Advertisement, continue reading below NBC. According to aboutdharma.org, which is run by Kadampa Buddhists and derives information from renowned Buddhist teacher Venerable Geisha Kalsang Gyatso, the name comes from the time Buddha gained enlightenment and began teaching. His teachings consisted of the first, second, and third wheels of Dharma. Every wheel served a specific purpose, one was to explain how to attain liberation from suffering for oneself alone, while another teaches how to attain full enlightenment or Buddhahood. For the sake of others, Buddha's teachings are said to be like a precious wheel because, wherever they spread, the people in that area have the opportunity to control their minds by putting them into practice, the site states. How this relates to Kevin and Jack knowing the background info on the wheel, we're thinking that Jack giving the necklace to Kevin is his way of saying he wants his son to attain liberation from his suffering. Aside from Kevin finding his purpose in life, Jack yearns for his son to free of the pain that burdens him, like the first wheel of Dharma. Getty of course, the same could be said for Jack, who, as we have learned over season 3, is struggling to come to terms with what happened to him while serving in Vietnam. He boxes, barely tells his family anything about the war, and is dealing with his trauma by drinking, which was made obvious when a bottle of champagne was popped at the house party he and Rebecca attended in LA. Bottom line, the wheel symbol serves as a mirror for both Pearsons as they try to find healing in their own lives. The necklace pendant is not only significant because someone very special gave it to him, but also perhaps because it represents a journey towards coming to terms with their suffering and finding hope on the other side. It's just one more added detail that makes Kevin and Jack's stories so much more connected and powerful. Again. Well done, Dan. Well done.